There is no emote play. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, boys. Oh, yes. That card is so disgusting. Oh, hi. I'm not gonna lie, dude. That's, uh, that's, that's really impressive. Can I tell you something? I love it. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna... What the fuck is this? Struggling to win on FIFA because your team is really bad. This team fucking sucks. Do you need coins for a cheeky new team? I need it. You can head over to u7buy.com. You can save up to 14% when purchasing all kinds of coins, and you use my code to enjoy another 5% discount. U7buy is also doing a 10 million coin giveaway for Team of the Year. So link in the description if you want to check that out. Alright boys and girls, now today is the cheekiest day ever. Like, it's just like, that's the only way I can put it. It's just the cheekiest day ever. We've picked up a card, lads, that is just... I did not expect. Like, I did not expect. No one expected this shit, alright? EA was just dropped this out of nowhere. Oh my god, lads, if you, have you not seen this card? If you haven't seen this card, you're not ready for it. But before we talk more about Immobile, lads, I'm going to quickly talk to you guys about One Football. So if you guys don't know what One Football is by now, it's basically an app that covers everything football when it comes to latest scores, latest injury updates, news, transfer news, like all of that stuff. Everything football that you can think of is covered on this app. It's completely free, of course, so you don't have to spend a single penny on it. Obviously, it's been a short while since I've had a One Football sponsorship, lads. Uh, and in that time, Liverpool haven't been doing the best, which is almost lucky for me. It's like, you know, I, I, I managed to avoid that bad I didn't really ever, ever have to talk about it. And then Liverpool beat Tottenham, which was a nice thing. So now we can jump back into the one football and be, we can start bragging again. That's good. Listen, I've had enough of your shit. This video comes out on like a Monday, so Liverpool. Don't you lose to West Ham now, you're gonna make me look like an idiot. Again lads, the app is completely free, okay, link in the description, give it a download and you'll have a lot of fun there. Alright boys and girls, let's jump into my team, okay, there's been just a couple of changes, nothing massive, but a couple of changes. Obviously we've got Boateng in the last episode, he's grown on me a little bit since then, he's not like a terrible centre back by any means, we were using him for champs like, on, on stream, he wasn't doing bad, okay, I tried him at CDM in fact on stream and he was actually really good at CDM lads, if you ever want to get this Boateng and play him CDM, I would actually say he's pretty damn good. Uh, at right back, uh, the stream told me to, to do a little bit of a switch around to get a better right back. Obviously, we had normal Bruno Perez, which wasn't ideal. Uh, and all I had to do was put Millie Savage up front and boot her at Cam. Now we can have any right back in the game. So that's a definite win. And then, of course, we've got our boy Chiro Immobile entering the team. Lads, this card. It's just utter filth, okay? He obviously doesn't have the skill moves, so all you skillers, you can go away, all right? This is, people say, Mitchell, why don't you do skills? This is why, okay? I would never think to use Chiro Immobile if I like skill moves, because I'd only want to use force or skill moves and above. Because I don't do skills, I get to enjoy the cheekiness of this Immobile. Force our weak foot, of course, is amazing. The pace, lads, is looking pretty damn good, okay? Immobile's not known for his pace, but it's looking pretty damn good. However, what he is known for in this game, at least, is the shooting. Oh my god, this shooting. 98 positioning and finishing. Yes, inject that, please. What I also like about this card as well is the long shots, okay? Never really have I been able to, like, shoot with a Mobile outside the box very often. Like, I don't, it's not something I do very often, but with 85 long shots, I'll be cracking a few, to be honest. It tickles my butthole in a way that just makes me really happy. And physically, it's pretty nice, too. So overall, lads, you've got a crazy card. Outside of foot trait as well, like, this isn't a mental card. Like, no one can tell me that this Mobile is a bad card, all right? No one can. It's just amazing. It's an amazing card. And I already loved Chiro as it was and this is just an amazing amazing upgrade here but anyway let's jump into a bit of gameplay with a mobile hopefully he just is absolutely cracked i imagine he will be so guys we jump into game number one <gasps> what muppet that's the worst thing you could do with chiro it's the worst thing you could do is just give him a chance like that of course he'll bury it Chiro, little, little give and go. Nice. Play him now. Chiro! Why has he fucking done that then? 
Nice play. Back to him. Lovely play this. Come on, Chiro. He just didn't quite have enough pace to give him give him enough room to, to shoot there. The keeper was just a bit quicker. Come on. Play, play Suarez. It's got to be Suarez. How has he saved that? Nothing's fucking going in. Honestly, this guy should be dead and buried. I should be like 5 and up. He'll probably end up beating me. I guarantee it. He'll come back and beat me somehow. Oh, fuck. He actually is. I literally fucking said it. That's like his first shot. It's legit his first chance and he scored it. I am so done with this game. Back to him. Oh, Chiro, that's a beauty! Come on, lad. That's a fantastic finish on his weak foot. Brilliant goal. Really good pass. Big boy for Ron. What a strike for Ron. Good lad. What a bald headed legend. Of course, he buries it. People always debate it. Who's the greatest player of all time? Dumb question. Overall, boys and girls, like, what a performance from Chiro Mobile. Like, you cannot even deny him what, like, how amazing that performance was. It was absolutely brilliant. Scored himself two absolutely brilliant goals. The chip was just audacious and, and sexy, but, you know, it chips are kind of broken in this game. But the second finish, let's have a look at this, boys. Let's go and have a look at this, because this is a corker of a strike. Look at this. On the weak foot, I thought, you know what? He's got long shots now. Let me just try, and my god, does he have long shots now. On the weak foot too, it's an absolute beauty. But if it was his uh, if it was his Champions League card, I probably don't take that shot. I probably don't trust him to bury that. Maybe he does bury that with a Champions League card I have. But, you know, I have just thought with those 85 long shots, I'm going to try that. And he absolutely can, just cannoned it into the top corner. So overall, lads, absolutely fantastic card. You know, so far I'm loving his dribbling. It feels a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. Not that I thought that Jiro's dribbling was particularly bad with the other cards, but I never really felt like I could dribble past a lot of players with him. But this card, I'm a lot more confident with dribbling with him. Feels a lot quicker. Shooting even feels better, and that's saying something, because Chiro just is already the, one of the most clinical, if not the most clinical player in this game already. Overall, he just feels like a mobile, but better. Like, that's the only way I can describe it. He's a mobile, but better. So great stuff from him so far lads hopefully more in the same game too so let's jump into game number two fuck i hate usebio no one wants to play against players like this why is this guy's team so good Nice pass over the top that. God, what a touch from Chiro. Oh, that touch though just completely sent his defender. Come on, Chiro. Oh, Varan, just fuck off. This guy's team is too meta. God, he's such a disgusting little fucking rodent. Oh, Torreira has done brilliantly. He's done so well there, Torreira. Nice. Oh, what a save. That would have been a beauty from Butra. Go on, Suarez. Go on, Suarez. Oh, what a header, Suarez. Come on. That's a beauty, lad. What a wonderful header. That's a good ball. That's a... He's offside. Thank God. That was a really fucking good cross. I'm not going to lie. Oh, such a bad pass. I think that's going to call it, though. Oh, imagine I lose it. Oh, um, oh, it's happening. It's fucking happened. Are you fucking serious? Oh, this game, man. It really does take the cake for just shitness. Fuck this game. Honestly, just fuck this. Fuck this game. They could have blown the whistle, too. They could have blown the whistle. It was well over. It was well over. Here you can see a place where salt is being mined out of the ground. So overall, boys and girls, in that game, Immobile kind of did nothing. If I'm, if I'm being honest, he didn't really get involved in that game. But, you know, that, that happens, lads, all right? It happens, okay? Don't you disrespect Immobile like that, all right? You're gonna just, if you're about to suggest he's anything but the GOAT, then you need to get out of this channel, all right? Immobile is amazing, all right? We just didn't have the best performance. This guy, though, look at his fucking team, lads. All right? Eusebio, right? 
Jao Felix, Varane, Koundé, Adama Traore, Walker, like he had the most meta Kante, not to mention. You know, he had like the most meta team ever, right? So it's understandable why Immobile just didn't have the best game. Like he was up against Adama Traore, Varane, and all these sweaty fucking jammy meta cards. So it's understandable why Butcher and Immobile got 6.7s, to be honest. But I can just tell from the first performance how good this card is. I already know that Immobile is the GOAT anyway. You know, I've obviously used that Champions D card like 200 and something games I've played with that card i've played with a normal card like 200 and something games as well so i've played like 400 maybe 500 games in a mobile a so i think i'm i'm pretty confident in saying that I, this card is amazing and this is just a much better version of a mobile a so yeah just without it goes without saying he's amazing he's he's fucking incredible so excited to use him more he's just gonna be he's gonna he's he's just the best he's just he's just the best striker in the game in my opinion he's my favorite striker in this fifa that includes butra too I'm not joking. In this FIFA, I think I prefer Mobile to Boudreau. But lads, I'm going to call it there. I hope you did enjoy. As the next episode, lads, I'll probably do a Grealish objective video, so look forward to that. Yeah, lads, I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace.